Isomers are substances with the same molecular formula but different structural formulas. And I've drawn butane and isobutane um, on the board here. And notice I've just shown the, the carbons. This is one way of representing uh, these structural formulas without having to write in all the hydrogens. Uh, or sometimes, oftentimes, you'll see lines drawn, but we don't have hydrogens in uh, drawn in the place. We could go in here and write in hydrogen in every place, but because carbon forms bond so readily with hydrogen, it's accepted just to uh, leave it as such. And if you see nothing at the end, you just assume that a hydrogen is, is in its place. But I want to look at isobutane, and we can draw in where the hydrogens would go. And I want to show you what I mean about being able to to draw a line straight through. If we start with the first carbon, we can go all the way through to the fourth carbon without having to lift up the pen. But if we start with the first carbon here, you can see that we cannot go all the way through without having to lift up the pen and coming back. And so that sort of gives you an idea as to what isomers are all about. In butane, the carbons are all in one chain, so to speak, but in isobutane, we have three carbons in a chain, and the fourth carbon is attached to the second carbon. So that's how isomers work. Now, so we'll go on and we'll look at the alkenes. So alkenes contain one or more double bonds between the carbons. And so our simplest alkene then is this one, which is ethene. Eth, of course, means uh, two, so that's showing that we have two carbons. And then the suffix ene recognizes that we have that double bond. And so just like members of a family may share a last name in common. Members of this family of organic compounds share the suffix ene in common. And so if we look at, at our two carbons, you can see that we have a double bond, two shared pairs of electrons between uh, carbon one and carbon two. Now let's look at some more complicated um, diagrams. For example, this one is propane. Now I want you to notice something about propane. The carbon is on, uh, the first carbon is numbered here, uh, and here's the second carbon, and here's the third carbon, but the double bond comes after the first carbon. And sometimes people get it confused and they think, well, this is an isomer because now the double bond is after the third carbon. But we always start the number closest to the double bond. So this is, is propene, whether we look at it this way or whether we look at it this way, it's just flipping the molecule over. So propene uh, has one double bond, and that one double bond is after the first carbon. Now let's look at butene. If we spin butene so that we can get a good look at that double bond, you can see that we have a double bond after the first carbon, then a single bond between the second carbon and the third carbon, and another single bond between the third carbon and the fourth carbon. So if we wanted to show butene like we showed ethene over here, it would look like this. Now, if you look, you see I made a mistake getting happy with my hydrogens because this carbon, I've drawn it with five bonds, and that's not right. We have to get rid of one of those hydrogens. Now, each carbon has four bonds, and you can see we have our double bond after the first carbon. So we'll go back and look at that here. And here's our double bond after the first carbon. And you can see that the other bonds between the carbons are single bonds. Now consider this. 
This is 2-butene. And if you look at 2-butene, you can see that we have a single bond after the first carbon, then a double bond after the second carbon, and then a single bond between carbon 3 and carbon 4. And so 1-butene and 2-butene are isomers of one another. And so we can draw 2-butene like this. Make sure that we have all the carbons with, with four bonds and no more than four bonds. So this is 2-butene. We have to be careful not to get carried away. Sometimes people will say, well this must be 3-butene. But the problem is, this is 1-butene. Here's our first carbon, here's our second, here's our third, and here's our fourth. So this substance is the same as this one. It's just been flipped. So here's one, two, three, four. So the point, uh, two points that we're trying to make here, one, Isomers are substances that have the same molecular formula, but different structural formulas. And then alkenes contain one or more double bonds between the carbons. The simplest alkene is ethene, uh, and then we looked at propene and 1-butene and 2-butene.